Hey what's up guys, Stefan here. Today I'm making my first beat in Reason 10. I'm going for a chilled, jazzy, boom bap, hip hop type beat with one caveat. I will not be sampling from any records. Instead I'm going to be using sampled based instruments and composing from scratch. Even if you're not a Reason user, be sure to stick around as what you learn here might be transferable to your own door. Or you might even give Reason a 30 day free trial. Alright, with that being said, let's jump right in. So I've got my instruments pre-selected and I pretty much have a good idea of what I'm going to do. This is just to save time and keep the video to a decent length. But let's quickly review the session so you have a general idea of what's going on. So on the left here you can see I'm using Kong, Reason's drum designer, and I've dragged in a couple of my own samples, each of which is being routed to its own mix channel. Then I have a couple of audio tracks for some more drum elements, two loops that I've really wanted to use in a beat. And they're all going into this drum bus. Cool. On the right I have the rest of the instrumentation, which we'll go through one by one as we build the beat. But the main takeaway here is that I have them all rooted into a separate bus from the drums, and on this bus, which I named Vinyl, I have the Audiomatic Retro Transformer. I have the vinyl setting selected, which will help us get closer to the boom bap hip hop sound, providing us vinyl crackle, noise, and some much needed attenuation at the higher end of the frequency spectrum. So if you hear some crackle, a few pops maybe, and some noise during this video, your speakers, headphones, etc. are fine. It's just the Audiomatic doing its job. With that being said, let's make the beat. I'm starting off with a Contact EP, the Scarby A200, fantastic. And I'm going to be using this not only for the chords, but the melody also. Something like this. A lot of samples are coming from instrumentals or instrumental breaks in records, so the instrumentation is going to be very melodic because there's no vocals to take up that space. This first phrase here will become like a motif in the track. That part that repeats itself in the chorus and people remember. You may also notice that to give it a jazzy feel, I didn't play it straight. I could have played it like this. But instead I played it like this. So it's not just in the notation, it's also in the timing. We want to keep everything very shuffled. So I'm not going to quantize that. These jazz samples are real human beings playing live instruments. Quantizing is not really an option. Okay, so let's work on the drums. And again, we're keeping it very shuffled. We could actually quantize the drums and use the regroove to help us with that, to keep it shuffled, but um, kind of set our own quantize shuffle and then apply that to the rest of the beat. But I'm not going to do that today. Um, I'll leave that for another video. Now for the hi-hats and the percussion, I've got a couple of loops, as I mentioned earlier. These loops are actually from the same pack as the kick and snare that you just heard. And as always, you'll find that information down in the description below. So I have them both imported here, a simple drag and drop operation. And now to get them in time with the rest of the beat, all we simply have to do is select the clip we want to put in time, hover over this arrow here, and whilst holding Alt or Option, you'll see this little clock up here, and we just want to click and drag it into place. This is a two bar loop, so we just want to move it so that it fits two bars here on our grid. That, in effect, will change the timing of it to fit the actual timing of this beat. I only want part of the hi-hat loop, so I'm going to put it in time, then reduce the clip to just the part that I want, then duplicate it. Command D. Before we add the bass, let's add a simple counter melody in the background. I have this marimba from the NNXT and I'm going to play the main chord broken up or arpeggiated so that it's nice and subtle in the background for the most part. All 
Alright, so now it's time for some bass. And I'm using a jazz upright from Contact. The upright bass is one of my favourite instruments. I love the sound it produces. I'm going to keep it simple, but again, we want to keep it quite melodic. The EP melody is the most important melody, so we need to make sure that when that little riff part comes in that we mentioned earlier, that nothing is overpowering or overshadowing that part. So what we're going to actually end up with is a kind of call and response, where the bass will play a bit, and then that riff will come in, the bass will play again, and then so on and so forth. This gives each instrument its own kind of time to shine and its own space. Great. Now to break it down into the verse, I'm going to take the first beat and duplicate it three times over the rest of the bar. Drop out the bass and the marimba, and then change the bass note on the EP to an E flat to create some tension. And then we'll get this nice release into the verse. For the verse, I'm going to take out the EP completely and slightly change the marimba line. It makes the verse sound a bit more eerie and a bit more sinister. To add to that effect, I'm using Reason's new Humana, which comes with Reason 10 and provides us with some silky vocal choir sounds. And with this, I'm going to follow the marimba, but let's pretend that it's a real choir with each member having their own harmony and coming in one by one. And that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment down in the comment section below and subscribe for more videos just like this. You can find all of the tools I've used in this video down in the comment section below, including a 30 day free trial of Reason 10. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.